This video is rated TV 16, has some harsh language which may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Heavy Metal Explosion coming at you with another discussion video. And this here is something that I've been wanting to do, but I haven't really known how to go about doing so. But what I want to do is give a shout out to Cybertron.com for having this website so that I can use some of the pictures in order to kind of express my love and admiration for this toy line uh, so what I kind of want to do is get in here and discuss what toys I would like to see in the future and some of the ones I want to see I think we pretty much already have and that would be stuff like the Rainmakers, uh, not all the Rainmakers, but uh, the Seeker Jets like Acid Storm, um, um, not Hot Link, we just got Hot Link, but um, gosh, um, Sunfire, I believe, or no, Sunstorm, Sunstorm. And other ones kind of like that that we didn't have that was maybe exclusive or we just hadn't received those yet that we have in the past. Uh, other ones I would like to see would be something along the lines of, or maybe how about Armada Starscream. Uh, I like this character. To be honest, the Thrill and 30 did it justice. All I expect is for those pylons not to stick off his back so far. Or maybe Serpentor. I really love this character. Um, took me many years to get a copy of this character. And I finally got one and yeah, it about broke me. Or Senator Ratbat, which based on that same mold, which was based on the Cyclonus mold. Uh, I think this is a good character to get a second representation of, or third, or however you want to count it. Uh, how about Cyclonus, the Target Master? This one would be great to get. An updated version that's not the out-of-scale version with the combiners. Uh, something along what we see right here in the universe line. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> right now would be ideal. We've got Battle Masters. You know, bring this guy out. Come on. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing the different colorations of them. You know, maybe as Generation Selects or something to that effect. Um, these were pretty cool, in my opinion. This character just still is very good, a very great figure. Uh, it's just a great mold that's I mean it's awesome and getting back onto the um, Starscream mold that we got like this how about G axis uh, this is a character that we hadn't really gotten a whole lot of love for or maybe I don't know how about Windblade she had a good Titans uh, or Titans master where she was the headmaster, but that body mold was good But who wants her as a headmaster? or perhaps Maybe instead of a tank This jet mode of Megatron would have been a good secondary uh, Figure for the Earthrise they did it with Starscream upgraded the classics they could have upgraded this one I think it would have been a great uh, figure mold to put in the Earthrise series. 
uh, it, it was a good figure. It's just hollow. I mean, they could have fixed all that. Seriously. Uh, how about this guy, DevCon? I, I would love to see this, maybe without the duck lips or the little kissy face, but I'd love to see this figure. Even like this, even, you know, bring this mold back. This was a good mold. I know it has some degradation, but, I mean, if you're going to upscale it to Voyager class, maybe put them in this mold, you know. This is, a, it wouldn't be a bad figure either. Or perhaps, eh, I like the Sky Shadow that I have, you know, the um, Titans Returns or the, whichever series he came out in. You know, this was a good sculpt. I mean, I, I like this sculpt. I had this figure. Um, and it was a good figure. I really enjoyed it. But the one I enjoyed most from this mold was this figure right here. Thunderwing. God, I love this character. Um, I, I was at the tail end of the comic books when this character arrived. I wasn't really into the comics anymore. Uh, I got rid of all my comics. Uh, Transformer ones gave them to uh, my mom and then she gave them to uh, one of my nephews that was uh, getting into Transformers at the time. So, but this, I, I like this character. I, I thought it was a great character. I like this mold, this jet mold. Um, see this thing come up and uh, become a Voyager class. That would be great. All of these old jet molds, I think, were great. They can increase the size to Voyager scale, current Voyager scale now, and it'd be a great toy. It really would. I, I wouldn't have anything against it. And what about Power Glide? Power Glide would be a good update. Uh, he wouldn't even have to be Voyager scale. Maybe uh, uh, Combiner Wars Deluxe scale. That would be a good scale for Power Glide, I think. After all, they did it with um, Warpath, right? Warpath was a good update. And it gave him a nice size, sized uh, tank mode. It would be great, I think. So let's backtrack a little bit. How about Blitzwing? Blitzwing, I think, would be a great update. Uh, I think the little headmaster thing was a good one, but I just didn't like him as a headmaster. Uh, you know, uh, maybe. Or how about Skullgrin? Gosh, I, I love this figure. I had this one. Uh, along with his little counterpart, you know, uh, what was it? Jaraxxus or something like that. But this mold was a good mold. Uh, wouldn't be good for Megatron, but this character, I think, would handle it really good. Uh, update this one. Man, there's so many good molds they can update. How about Tank War? This would be a great mold to update. Could turn this into all kinds of drones. I think basically there was, this character was like a bunch of drones at some point within the Beast Machines or whatever it was that he was in. I didn't really keep up with those, but I think it would be a good figure. I had this figure too. Just for the comic book, but I had this figure. Uh, how about, I don't know, Sandstorm. Sandstorm needs a good update. Really good update. That's what I'm saying. Just three years doesn't cut it for bringing out just a mass variety of figures. They need You need more than just three years to introduce all these older figures. Sandstorm would be a great figure to bring out. And not just that, but this figure here. I would love to see a good update. A good update. You know, I mean, not with all those damn tires hanging off of this guy like he did in the um, Thrillin' 30. I, I, I just was not happy about that. I have that figure. I have the world. But 
I wish it was more closely resembling the original figure. Like with all of them. You can make your improvements, but, you know, don't have these tires hanging off. Don't have these, you know, little bits and parts and whatnot. It just, it detracts from the greatness of the figure of the originality of it. And please give me some extra missile pods instead of just one for the right or left side. But how about Whirl? You knew I was going to bring out Whirl if I brought out Roadbuster. I mean, these two were like the deluxe Insecticons. You, you can't have one without the other. But, but, I can't stand the chicken legs. I can't stand this. I like this overall, but the chicken legs have got to go. It's got to go. If you redo the chicken legs on this guy... It would be perfect. Even if you downscaled them, maybe give it to me as a Spinister update. I don't know. The Spinister was a great mold, but I can't do the chicken legs thing. I just, it's not what I want, <laughs> I guess. Now, how about this RC? This RC would be a good RC as well. You don't have to technically call her RC, but there again, this is a good mold. I, I'd love to see some of Hasbro just bring back some of these molds. They don't have to be major, just some of them. Or how about Prowl? I'd like to see this mold brought back. This would be a good mold to bring back. So we can't forget Blaster. We need a Blaster and all of his minions. Granted, we're not going to get a cassette form of Rain Dance or whatever his name is but we can get the rest of these and of course with that we have sound waves the rest of sound wave minions which I don't know maybe they could do something with some of these in another form or something but I want my buzzsaw buzzsaw and laser beak so what about broadside maybe a commander class who knows? But we need a broadside. That'll finish the triple changers. But, yes, a new blur. New blur that's not a headmaster. Of course, you can't have blur, obviously, without a cup. We need another cup, not a headmaster. I like the molds that they had for these two guys, but they were headmasters, and they weren't. They were target masters. So, yeah. So what about tracks? You know we have to have a tracks. We have almost all of the G1 characters. So, we got to get a tracks updated. And of course, with all the rarities that we got in Siege, you can't forget the rare um, Omnibots. We're getting the jump starters. We got clone brothers what about the omnibots I mean the red one could be another tracks that would be a good mold to start out for us getting the tracks and these two here could have been the same mold really I don't know maybe make them part of the uh, I don't know throttle bots so let's not forget the throttle bots these were some great characters as short of a time that we got but mostly because Goldbug which was just Bumblebee and then you have your mini bots from season 2 and season 3 and uh, I don't know let's just say how about the original micro bots these were the first ones before the microbots ever came out so yeah how about these so I'm gonna give you a little look at the rest of what I would like to see come out of the the Earthrise and the 
following year of uh, Transformers. So with that being said, uh, enjoy and until next time.